scared. I'm a little nervous. I've been patiently waiting. Actually, I'm here waiting right now for some other parts. But uh, I've been patiently waiting for something pretty cool for the BMW. Hopefully, it's cool. I think it's. I hope I did. I did myself justice. Uh, I hope I did it right, to be honest. But I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I ordered the wheels. We're gonna send it. FedEx said the, the wheels should be here tomorrow. So at some point tomorrow, I'll be here tomorrow. Um, so Saturday morning, I'm gonna go get them mounted up, and um, then we're gonna be racing Sunday or Saturday night. For this reason. I'm nervous because I'm on stock axles, but I've talked to a handful of people who are running stock axles and they're getting away with it, um, especially for the manual six speeds. Pretty much the trick is to slip the clutch, or in my case, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be just leaving at a thousand RPMs and then going from there. With the GTOs, usually the axles break with a lot of wheel hop. Now, the cool thing about both the GTO and the BMW is they both carry the same lug pattern and they both have very similar wheel offsets so I actually think I can put the drag wheels on the BMW so I may go take the BMW drag racing as well look at this big old thing hopefully this does the job hopefully this does the job <laughs> Okay, so I got a solution to the hood, and um, I, I am gonna have to change up my intake setup, at least the hot air, cold air thing that I have going on in there. Um, but we're gonna pull that off and just see, we're just gonna get a mock-up of how it looks, and then we're gonna go from there. Alright, so here's my solution. I got this fiberglass hood scoop cowl hood thingy from Jigs and uh, pretty much I'm just going to cover up the intake and this will allow me to drive around in the rain and not worry about it, not get as many looks, all that stuff. Um, I am going to have to change the intake but what I'm going to do since this, honestly the guys, the BMW is cool but it's definitely a beater. Um, it's just a, it's just a cheap drift car that I did and um, so I'm just trying to get it to look a little bit better yeah literally all I'm gonna do is pre-drill this hood measure it out we'll pre-drill it and then I'll use some self-tapping screws so then it locks it down um, and then if I get another hood I could reuse this with some proper rivets or whatever but um, that is the deal for right now so let's get it <laughs> Okay, so kind of just got it set up, got it in there, so now, now everything is closed up. Got a little bit of a muscle car look, but you know, it's a V8, it's a BMW, it works. Straight out of the 70s with this dude. <laughs> look at this. Hey, it works, it works. Now I can drive this thing in the rain, we go slide, I'm not too worried about it. It's hilarious. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so goofy. So goofy. You guys don't even know how hype I am right now um, that I got some sort of hood on here. It was all good for a while to have the, the intake out and stuff. Sorry, my bike. About to go around my bike. Um, it was all good to have the, the intake sitting out of the car for a while, but super annoying. Honestly, I was always having to worry about rain and getting caught in the rain and whatever. So. Now I don't even have to have people ask me or nothing about the car. I know that sounds, it sounds like I'm being a dick, but it's not being a dick. You just get random questions like all the time. Um, anytime I pull up to a pump, uh, gas pump or going into a gas station, people want to talk about it. And not that I don't mind talking about it, but uh, sometimes, you, you know, you're just minding your own business and you just want to get in and get out. You don't really want to talk about what you're doing. So I'm really psyched to actually have the GTO staying in the garage for the next pretty much every day during the week now like i'm really really trying to commit to just driving the 5.3 a bunch the the bmw unless i break it or whatever uh 
yeah, let's go ride some bikes. Whew. Guys, I definitely feel like the car needs a name. It's kind of ugly, but she has some muscle, so I was thinking Helga. Helga the E36. Helga the V8 E36. Let me know what you guys think. So to my surprise, I posted a photo on Instagram of the new hood setup and a bunch of people are like, oh, it looks so sick. I thought it was a super cheap hood rich way of making it look better and covering up the, the engine and stuff. But uh, surprisingly, a lot of people like it. So I'll go with that. I had to end, end my riding short because I looped out on something stupid and landed right on my right butt cheek. So I got to ice it and do whatever. I can't wait to show my wife. She she She's only seen it in photos because naturally I just tell her everything and uh, send her everything. Um, but it was like like a lot of stuff in my life. My wife is my backbone, so she gives me a lot of push to get stuff done. Um, so she was the reason why I got this done and was able to turn this into a, a sometimes driver to a daily driver, so I'm pretty psyched. Look at this fine thing. <laughs> Come look at this hood, Rich. Hood Lomatos. All right, let's see. Dang, you fine though, oh, girl. Look a little ghetto -licious, but. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Isn't that bad, babe? Did you drill? Yeah, I, I drilled and tapped it. But is that water still, can water still like get in there? Yeah, I just didn't need water directly. Mm, okay. Babe, that, no, it doesn't look bad. Does it look meaner? No, look mean. Look, look it, from this side. It looks side. mean for sure. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with it? It looks really good. <laughs> you like it? Yes. What's wrong with it? Like, you oh, I just did it. You liked about it. That's tight. It's it, tight. It was just a temporary solution. No. <laughs> look, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay, no, that's tight. I think it looks super cool. Like from okay. this side, like it looks. It looks tight. I like the. You color. like it even with I the like it with the lot. bolts and everything? Yeah. Yeah. I do. I love the bolts. It makes it like. Different. So now I just gotta get some spacers and put some tires on. Yeah. No, for yeah. sure. It looks good, babe. Good job. It looks dope, and I like the sticker. Like gives it. Yeah. Like care. Like it looks hood. Like a hood <laughs> fast car. Like that's that's it. it yeah, it, it goes. With, it goes. Does it fit my personality? Yes. <laughs> no, it looks a little like. It looks a little. Cholo. Like, it actually, yes. A little and cholo. I, if it's your your lat your Latino side a little bit, yeah. That's so funny. I know, it looks a little Mexican. A little Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do I say it? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Rican. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, there you guys have it. I like it. it I think it looks fresh, you guys, seriously. It looks super cool. Well, thanks for pushing me to do that. Yeah, no, I know. I, I, I told them already know. that, uh, that uh, you know, without you, half the stuff wouldn't get done. <laughs> no, it wouldn't, for sure. <laughs> Just had him pay off a credit card, too. <laughs> that's how I have to be on him <laughs> yeah she she's on me pretty hard uh, if not a, you know I'm just a bike rider so <laughs> whatever <laughs> you're more than a bike rider. anyway um yeah I hope you guys like it yes me too